Hello viewers, this Not Too Fast here. In today's video, I'll show you two very good portable car jump starter you should have in your car. If you're not familiar with what a portable jump starter is, it's basically a portable power bank with a high capacity rechargeable battery inside. This little device is able to jump start your vehicle when your car battery is dead. Now if you ever had a dead battery in your car, you know to jump start the vehicle, you need a second vehicle and jumper cables. Those two things are not always available when you're out somewhere. With this device, you simply have to connect it to your car battery and within seconds, you'll be able to start your vehicle. Now these two jump starters I'll be showing you is from the company TrekPow and they have several models you can choose from that best fits your need. In front of me on the left side is a G22 and on the right side is a TJ2500. Now I'll go over all the features available on both of these models so you'll know what features it has. Let's start with the TrekPow G22. With this G22, it has a nominal starting current of 1000 amp and a peak current of 1500 amp. This jump starter is able to jump start a gasoline engine up to 8 liters in displacement and a diesel engine up to 6.5 liters. Looking at the top, there's a power switch right here. If you press it, it'll show you the charge status of the battery inside this unit. Now typically when you first get it, you should charge to this 200%. Looking on this side, this is a DC output port and it outputs 12 volt at 10 amp. If you measure the voltage on this, you'll get about 15 to 16 volt. It also comes with this adapter here. You can plug this into this connector. Now you can use it to power your 12 volt devices like compressors or vacuum cleaners. Next to it is a USB-C connector. Now this is both an input and output. To charge a battery pack, you'll be using this USB cable. Plug this into a USB charger. And on the other end of this cable is a USB-C connector. So you just plug this in to the unit and then you can charge your unit. Now this port is an output port. So you can plug this into a device and charge it. Now the USB-C output will output 5 volt at 3 amps. Looking on this side, right here you have an LED flashlight. If you press a power button once and press it again and hold it down, this will turn on the LED flashlight. Press it again, this SOS. Press it again, this strobe. Once more, back to on, press and hold, it'll turn off. Next to it is a USB QC 3.0 charge port. Now depending on the device that you have connected to this port, it will output either 5 volt, 9 volt, or 12 volt. Next to it is another USB charge port. This outputs 5 volt at 2.1 amp. So in total, there are three USB charge ports on this, and you can charge three devices at the same time. On the far left, behind this cover, this is where you connect the jumper cable to jump start your vehicle. The jumper cable is right here. And what you want to do is connect this jumper cable into this port. And then connect these two clamps to your car battery to jump start your vehicle. Now you'll notice on this jumper cable, there's an LED display. This is actually a smart jumper cable. There are many safety features built into this box. So for example, it has short circuit protection, over charge protection, over discharge protection, over current protection, over heat protection, reverse polarity protection, and there's also a built-in voltmeter on this display. So with all these safety features, it's completely idiot-proof when you're using this to jumpstart a vehicle. So for example, if I short circuit these two clamps right here, it won't do any damage. As you can hear, there's an audible alarm telling you the clamps are short circuited. And if you look at the display, you see the letters SC for short circuit. So now let's take a look at this TrekPow TJ2500 jump starter. As you can see, this is a much beefier unit. This actually has a fire resistant shell and it's also IP68 rated. It's waterproof, shockproof, and dustproof. As you can see on this label, it has a maximum peak of 2500 amp and it can jumpstart a gasoline engine with a displacement up to 9 liters or a diesel engine up to 8 liters. Looking on this side, there's a power switch. If you press it, it'll show you the charge status of the internal battery. Looking on this side, there's a rubber cover. If you open this up, you'll see the USB charge ports and the jumper cable connector. Now to keep it waterproof, you do have to make sure this rubber cover is in place. Now with this jump starter, there are two quick charge 3.0 USB charge ports. Again, depending on the device that's connected to this power bank, these two quick charge ports will output 5 volt at 3 amps, 9 volt at 2 amps, or 12 volt at 1.5 amps. Next to it is a USB-C input charge port. 
There's also a second micro USB charge port right here. You can use either of these ports to charge a device, but if you have a fast USB-C charger, then it'll charge this unit a lot quicker using this port. Now for the charging, it does come with both the USB-C cable, there's a USB-C cable, and the micro USB cable. And it also comes with an AC USB charger. You can use this to charge a unit. So here's a look at this smart jumper cable. You plug this into this connector right here. Now this jumper cable also has built-in safety features. It has short circuit protection, low voltage protection, high voltage protection, over current protection, reverse charge protection, reverse polarity protection, overheat protection, and overloaded protection. Now if you look at the bottom of the jumper cable, you see there's a button right here. Now the purpose of having this button is for you to jump start a dead battery that is very low in voltage. Because of the safety circuits inside this box, sometimes it's not able to recognize a battery if the voltage is too low. By pressing this button for three seconds, you can do a bypass so the output of this battery bank will go directly to the alligator clamp. This way you can jump start any vehicle at any voltage. So let me demonstrate that to you by holding this button down. You heard a relay click, and now it's green. That tells you the output of the battery is going directly to the clamp. Here I have the G22. Let me show you what happens when I connect the clamps incorrectly. I'm gonna connect the positive clamp onto the negative terminal of the car battery. And I'll connect the negative clamp onto the positive terminal of the car battery. Immediately you hear an audible alert. And here it tells you SC and R for reverse polarity. Now connect it correctly. Negative clamp to negative terminal. Positive clamp to positive terminal. Here you see the LED display is going around and around. That means you can go in the car and start the vehicle. Now with the G22 jumper cable, there's a built-in voltmeter, but to use that, you do have to disconnect the jumper cable from the battery pack. Now I'll connect the negative clamp to a negative post. Positive clamp to a positive post. So here you see, it tells you the voltage of the car battery, 12.5 volts. If you see anything that's 11 volt and lower, that means the battery is discharged. So let's say this does show a low voltage. At this point, you can connect this directly to the battery pack and then proceed to jumpstart your vehicle. With the G22, you have this DC output. You can use this to power any 12 volt accessories. Here you have a portable compressor. That's what's on the light. With the USB charge ports, you can use it to charge your cell phone or tablets. After you plug the cable in, press the power button. Now begin charging the phone. Here's a TJ2500. I'll connect it with reverse polarity. And immediately you hear an audible alert telling you the connection is incorrect. Now with this jump starter, the audible alert won't stop until you disconnect the jumper cable. And then reconnect it back up. Now you can connect this properly and jumpstart your vehicle. So as you can see, there are some differences between the G22 and the TJ2500. This one here on the right does cost a little bit more. It retails for $100 and this G22 it retails for $80. The TJ2500 outputs 2500 amp peak current and the G22 outputs 1500 amp peak current. This will jumpstart a gasoline engine up to 8 liters and this one will jumpstart a gasoline engine up to 9 liters. With the TJ2500, it's also IP68 rated, so it's waterproof, dustproof, and shockproof. But the G22 does have a 12 volt output to power any portable devices. And the smart jumper cable has a voltmeter built in. As for the operating temperature for both of these units, they're exactly the same. It's rated to operate between minus 20 degrees Celsius to 65 degrees Celsius, or minus four degrees Fahrenheit to 149 degrees Fahrenheit. Now both of these jump starters also come with this very nice carrying case. You can put this in your glove box or in your trunk and just take it out whenever you need it. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you want to pick one up, I'll include the link in the description below. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, remember to click on a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed, please click on the subscribe button to support this channel. Also click on the notification bell so you'll get notified of my new videos. Thank you and have an awesome day.